好，咁去到呢條題目呢，我哋就一齊做下科學探究咯。今次我哋要探究嘅對象呢，就係、是、oxygen 生長素。我哋就想去探究一下生長素對於一啲枝條嘅成長呢，有啲咩嘅影響嘅。咁我哋就有好多棵嘅幼苗啦，咁我哋抽咗一段段嘅，然後呢，就將呢啲芽段呢浸喺唔同濃度嘅生長素嘅溶液當中。然後就再去睇下兩日之後，佢哋咧嗰個芽段嗰個成長係如何、哦。咁所以你見得到啦，由零去到一千 ppm 嘅濃度啦。兩日之後啦，嗰一批嘅芽段咧，咁我哋每一次攞咗十個 mm 去睇嘅哦，由十 mm 去到十五 mm， 由十 mm 去到十四點五 mm， 由十 mm 去到十五點一 mm， 即係佢有個咁嘅成長嘅。又或者啦，浸佢喺一 ppm 嘅時候咧，就由十 mm 咧就成長去到三十七。点一 mm 嘅，咁啊如此类推。咁呢个题目就问啦，根据翻实验嘅结果，以下边一个系抑制芽段生长嘅最低生长素浓度咧？咁呢个题目啦，就考翻我哋啦。生长素嘅浓度对于植物成长嘅关系啦。第二啦，就要去揾得到嗰个临界点嘅水平啦。邊一個濃度先係抑制到嗰個芽段嘅成長呢？咁呢個題目啦，有個好關鍵嘅概念嘅，就係、是、原來喺零 ppm 嘅生長素嘅時候咧，呢、這個係正常嘅成長嚟嘅。嗱，本身咧嗰啲芽段係十 mm 啊嘛，然後啦擺喺零嘅濃度嘅時候咧，由十去咗做十五。由十去咗十四點五，由十去咗十五點一，所以啦，你見得到零點一 ppm 嘅時候，啲芽段嘅成長應該係受到刺激啦，因為啦，由十去到三廿二點五，由十去到三廿二點四，係咪？跟住啦，去到一 ppm 咧，其實都係刺激緊個，因為本身啦，由十到十五嘅啫嘛，而家十到三廿七點幾喎，係咪都係勁咗噶？跟住去到十嘅時候啦，嗯，雖然啦，佢個成長嘅刺激咧。就冇一 ppm 嗰啲咁犀利，係咪？三十七點一二喎，係咪？嗯，由一嘅濃度去到十嘅濃度呢，好似生得慢咗嘅，但係其實佢都仍然係受緊刺激嘅，即係話啦，佢唔係咁樣喺度飆升、飆升、飆升、飆升，但係啦，佢仲係喺呢一個情景底下。咁佢嗰個成長呢，仍然係高於呢個零啊，正常成長呢條虛線以上嘅。唯獨啦，就係去到一百 ppm 嘅時候呢，咦都有成長，喎，但係得十二點五同埋十三啫喎。喂，最基本正常成長都有十五、十四點五同十五點一啦，你得十二啫喎，你嘅成長係咪已經係受抑制？係慢過正常成長啦，所以答案咧就係 C 啦。How student, I'm Mr. Lam. So in this video, we are going to talk about the scientific investigation, and this time we are studying the effect of the oxygen on the growth of the shoot. So 10 mm section of the shoot were obtained from a number of seedlings, and then oxygen solution of different concentration were prepared, and then we put the 10 mm section of the shoot in these different concentration of oxygen solution. And then three shoot section were put in each solution for two days. So the result was shown in the table below. So you can see that zero ppm, one thousand ppm, and then after two days, what is the length of the shoot section? Because in every solution we have three shoot. So and then we have three data, right? So for this question, we need to realize the effect of the oxygen concentration on the plant growth, and then we need to identify the fossil concentration, the critical concentration where oxygen inhibits the growth of the shoot, and that's why we are checking the skills, data interpretation, and trend analysis. So let's take a look at the question. Based on the above result, which of the following is the lowest oxygen concentration that inhibits the growth of the shoot? So here we have a critical concept: zero ppm oxygen concentration. The data indicates normal growth. You can see that initial length of the shoot is 10 mm, and after we put it in the maybe distilled water, not affected by the oxygen. So we can see that 10 mm to 15. 10 mm to 14.5, 10 mm to 15.1 mm. So it is a normal growth. Therefore, we can see that 0.1 mm, the growth of the shoot being stimulated. Normally, it should increase around maybe 5 mm, and now there are around 20 something mm increase, and then 1 ppm also 30 something, and then 10. PPM. You can see that the length of the shoot section after two days is twenty something. So it's still higher than the normal growth, right? So you may think that from one mm to ten mm, the shoot seems to grow slower. 
because from 30 something to become 20 something right so it drops however the growth is still being stimulated when compared to the normal growth which is this dotted line although at 10 ppm the growth curve seems like dropping however it's still higher than this normal growth therefore a and b also say goodbye and then for 100 you can see that and then for 100 ppm 12 something or 13. so for the normal growth at least there should be maybe 4.5 mm or 5 mm increase in the length of the shoot so for 100 ppm the growth of the shoot is really being inhibited therefore the answer is c 100 ppm